What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Scythe that's Antingrod back again for another Cube World World World. Let's play this game together. Journey to the North Block, the Sahara Desert Part 2. You guys like my hat? <laughs> it's not a real hat, it's actually a ride! Chocobo, which we got in yesterday's episode. Well, the last episode, and if you want to check that out, there's the annotation in the top left-hand corner of your screen right this second. And I'm still trying to screw around with settings to try and get this damn text to work. But, yeah, it's a little bit tricky. It's a little bit complicated. It's a little bit complicated. But anyway, hopefully you all have been enjoying this series regardless of being able to see things or not. Because I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. Ha! So, to clue you guys in... Oh, here we go. Here, come on, turn map. There we go. So, off camera, I ended up going all the way back here to the temple of Ikogor, Ichabod Crane's cousin, because we ended up getting our yellow gear there, right? But I guess it must have scaled or something, because when I went there this second time, all of a sudden the enemies were like plus four or something, They and they just kicked my but so I ended up running all the way back here and it was a big waste of time and I didn't get any rares or anything because holy crap that place was powerful really it was quite ridiculous but yeah today we're gonna be heading over to where should we go let's go to this dungeon because it's on the way to this town and hopefully it's not going to be overpowered or anything this this Sahara Desert for those that do not know, we have already been to a desert biome, but this is a new desert. They're gonna be doing that stupid energy draining spell. Oh, roll out of the way, Chuckabo's dead. Surprise! Well, we scared the crap out of one of them, and then the arrow went hurt. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh-oh, I'm not equipped to any potions. Roll, stupid! Oh my god. I'm pressing tab. It's doing that thing again that it does. Where it doesn't equip stuff. I don't know why it runs into so many errors like that. You know what? There, you want to run around the corner? Run around into that. Run around into my trap, you damn witch. I don't know why everything has just been so powerful lately. Like, straight up. You know what? As cool as Chocobo is... Where is he? We gotta bring out Jerry again. Because Jerry is still badass. Especially because of how huge he is. Oh. Kiting, 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 kiting. Get near me, monstrosities! See, look how powerful everything is. Whoa, we leveled up! Speaking of everything being powerful, not so long. Not... Ooh. Wow! Whoa! We, de we definitely generated a different desert. The last desert we were in didn't have mountains like this. Holy cow, I'm getting screenshots of this. All right, man, that's awesome. Hello, Geodude. Whoa! Jesus, guy. Get him. Get him, Jerry, we can take him. Whoa, what the hell? This guy's weird. He has strange attack animations and stuff. Knock him on the ground! Get him, Jerry! Holy crap! Must have got a crit or something. I didn't expect him to die so soon because he still had a little bit of health. Now, hmm. Actually, I was going to say... Ooh! Perfect. I was actually going to just talk about caving. Caving! Caving! Caving is great because it means we could get rupees and stuff. And we need rupees. Well, rubies. We don't need iron because we're actually quite full on iron. But we do need rubies and all manner of other things that aren't iron. Kind of. Kind of. We did. But remember what I said? Remember what I was saying? Oh! You stupid wizards! Goodness gracious! Okay. Where's food? Okay, yeah, as I was trying to say, we can get good stuff out of those, but at the same time, we already ended up coming across our first yellow, our yellow gear. 
which is absolutely incredible. We're wearing it right now, and it is incidentally the yellow stuff that we're wearing. Huh. Get down on the ground! Stay away from me! See what I mean? These guys are so damn strong! Seriously, everything is hurting so much. Man. And it's a good thing we're heading to town because I need more I need more pots. I need more potions, man. We need more we need more glass cups or whatever you call them. But yeah, we had some incidentally, we had some purple gear that we were going to craft at one point. And I kept talking about, oh man, I hope we don't end up finding something better before we can craft it. And sure enough, we found our first yellow, which is absolutely fantastic. You can check all that stuff out on yesterday's episode if you want to. Or the last episode. <laughs> I gotta get used to saying that because I guess it's been it's been over a day since it came out. Let me zoom the map out a little bit so it's a little less intrusive. Ooh, that's a lot of Jerry's. Come on, cutting, 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 cutting. But my point being that we don't need ah, rubies as much as we did previously. Yeah. Because we're doing fantastic as far as our equipment and everything goes right now. Oh, there's a bunch of fire beetles. And I haven't so far. So far. I'm not going to lie. So far, I'm not going to lie. I haven't ran into... Oh, goodness gracious. We haven't ran into anything really strange or confusing lately. You know, because a lot of this stuff is just fair share. And I didn't really check what any of the food items that I got do. But anyway, my point being, I haven't checked the wiki in like... Well, it's been a while. There hasn't really been a reason to check it, is the biggest thing. And I know there was a cave back there, but I'm kind of just going to run into caves. We'll go into caves that we run into. Otherwise, I'm not going to go out of my way. Like, It's getting a little bit... We're getting a little bit too distracted here. Oh, yeah? Drink a potion? Drink this potion, you damn idiot. Take that, you fool. Take that. Ooh, a campfire. But, yeah, yeah. So, we got we to gotta start... Come on, Jerry. We gotta start making some record time if we're hoping to get to the town in today's episode, which I don't know if we will. Ah, uh, dang it, that nomad is guarding that cave. Well, I'm gonna eat because, ah, uh, you know what? Let's see here. All right, ginseng soup. Do we have any arrow potions? Can we make any arrow potions? That's a real quick. Oh, we can make some life potions. Okay, then I may as well just make one, two, three, four. Well, we can make 12. Let's just make them all. Sometimes I like to wait until we've leveled up because every time we level, there's a chance that we can have new crafting recipes, whether it's going to be potions or food or just new armor and stuff in general. Wow. Beautiful. I love this desert. I love these deserts, man. I really do. I don't see any shinies in there. That's actually a pretty tight cave. But anyway. Yeah. Nor Normar Narmor Valley? And it's red too. Uh-oh. Does that mean that those guys, like all the normal enemies that we find around here, are going to be red? Like, what is this? It's a dungeon, but it's not a quest dungeon. Oh, we can get all these guys. Kiting, 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 kiting. Get them all, Jerry! Get them all up! We are an all-powerful mage. Stay out of the way. Skull bulls, huh? I don't think we need to fight them, but... Whoa. Skeleton plus three. Dang it, so this place is very... De oh, goodness. There's a lot of stuff here. Okay. Let's do this, Jerry. I'm just gonna run. We're just gonna run for it. We're just gonna run through Narmore Valley. Because these guys are all plus three. They're all actually really, really deadly. Are we wearing... Ah, dang it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Gotta get this, just in case. And telly ho! See you later, suckers! <laughs> oh god. Oh my goodness gracious. Well, Jerry certainly got ahead of us, didn't he? Yeah, so these undead dudes, I've already been to. I mean, we can. That's the thing. We haven't ran into any more hills or anything like that. Those are only in the early. <gasps> I want a yellow slime, I want a yellow slime, I want a yellow slime. Especially if he's plus three, I wonder if he's gonna be all powerful. We're getting him as a pet at the same time that our slime is attacking us. Get him! Get him, Squishy! Oh my goodness! 
is in it! We got Mr. Squishy, but he didn't do anything! Oh, goodness gracious! That was actually really deadly. Holy crap. Can we... Is this guy rideable? Yeah, he is! Ha 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 ha! That actually looks really funny. Oh my goodness, we gotta get out of here. This place is deadly! This place is deadly! I would have really loved to have a purple slime, but you know what? This one actually suits us just fine. Wow, these are some epic cliffs, man. And the frame rate's going crazy because there's so many enemies in this place. Man! I really wish we would actually be strong enough to start taking some of these places down, but it seems we just keep running into these places that are all like... Oh, I keep I had my torch out the whole time. But we keep running into these fields that have like so many enemies, and it's just... It hasn't been going well. Last one I think that we ran into, I think anyway, was Lizard Island, and that was like... That was deadly, man. It was deadly? Where are you? Come here, Slimo. What do we call him? I think we should probably call him Squishy. Or Mr. Squishy. Mr. Wait, no, Mr. Bumpy. That's what I'm thinking about. It was a show I used to watch as a kid. Clay it was a claymated show. It was actually really awesome. And it was like some dude that lived under... You know how old shows used to have like that? It was one of those, one of those shows that was clearly out for boys because it was like... He was, he was like a snot monster, and he like lived in a toilet or something like that. I don't really remember, but it's like typical, typical of those like 90s Saturday morning cartoons for boys. Like, it was always like some gross thing. Whoa. Okay. Okay. This is a lot further than I thought it was, but anyway. Yeah. So, Mr. Squishy here. Incidentally, that's what I'm at. I'm going to name him that right now. Name pet, Mr. Squishy. Is he Mr. Squishy? Mr. Slime. <laughs> I guess you can't have a space, but you know what? Mr. Slime works just fine. All right, Mr. Slime, show your stuff. Even though I'm at one hit, so I need to actually heal. I don't know why I started fighting that dude before we were prepared. Kill the ogre! Kill Shrek! Ah! I hate that stupid jump attack that they always do. It always hurts so damn much. Jeez Louise. Screw you, wizard. I don't care. I don't care because I gotta start. I gotta start. We gotta start making a beeline. We gotta start moving and we gotta start moving now because if I just keep getting distracted by all these enemies, then nothing's gonna happen today. At least we're traveling over the desert, but still. Kiting, 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 kiting. Yeah! Take that, Jerry Jr. Man, I got a lot of items to siphon through. I am sure of that. Okay, well, you know what? As far as today goes, maybe we'll only get to go to this dungeon. We'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, it's not going to be too deadly and we'll be able to actually take it out. But at the same time, I hope that it's not extremely weak so that we can actually, you know, get. Oh. We have max of the cactus juice. That's good, because that means we can make more of those potions. But yeah, I'm hoping... I gotta check it out. I gotta check it out. I'm too curious. Well, we got some silver, at least. But yeah, I'm hoping that that place that, place that we're heading to, the daily quest, isn't going to be too deadly, but also isn't going to be too weak. Like, what I really want is to be able to find some more rares. And hopefully we could find some more... I guess what we're aiming for right now would be clothes. Yeah, that'd be badass if we got to have some yellow clothes or even purple or just just something to actually look cooler, you know? Because right now we're just kind of walking in our normal clothes. Ooh! Good thing I noticed that shinies. There's emeralds right here, which that's always good to grab. And then a couple iron, 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 and what's this one? Iron, iron. More iron. More iron. That's exactly what we need. Okay. Oh, and by the way, something else that I want to mention, but I'll mention it right after this quick commercial break. And I'm going to keep walking. I'll probably see you guys on top of that ridge, and I'll see talk to you guys in a minute. And we are back, everybody. And what I wanted to mention, I'm just on a different ridge. That was the ridge I was talking about. We're on a narrow one. And it's all cool because I wanted to take a screenshot in front of that 
big old mountain top before we ended up continuing onward, which we're almost there, actually. We're almost at the dungeon. Oh! That's weird. I don't know why we always get hurt sometimes. But anyway, one of the things that I wanted to mention, which I think is absolutely awesome, is I've started noticing with other people's footage of Cube World. I mean, I know it's a little it's a little bit old news, but I forgot to mention it. But character customization. People have actually started making programs and stuff so you can import your own character designs. And I think that's awesome. I haven't experimented. I, I'm, I'm hoping... To be able to find the program and maybe I'll just experiment with it myself because I don't really want to You know take someone else's work and then try to I mean if I found something really cool, maybe but Yeah, I kind of want to oh He's yellow, so he's gonna be tough I'm not gonna bother because we still gotta keep going forward But yeah, anyway, I thought that was awesome that there's actually people have started customizing characters You know, I ended up checking out a couple other channels and it's like I'll save you and some people got some awesome stuff, you know some of the some of the Bigger channels of course, you know watching them. It's like of course they got really badass characters because they just get someone else At that point people just commission them in it's like here man I made this character for you and it's like all right awesome. So hopefully I mean who knows how this game will be You know who knows who knows how popular this game's going to stay or get but I'm, I'm hoping, you know, I'm a dreamer, I'm a dreamer, and I'm hoping, you know, hopefully maybe one day I'll get to that point where I could have someone else design something cool for me and just be all like, oh, awesome. But anyway, I was just think, get on the damn slime. Why is it glitching? Get on him. Okay. I don't know why he's glitching right now. There you go. Okay, you know what? Where's Jerry? He'll be faithful. Never mind, he keeps auto getting off. What am I lagging on my own host? Come on. It's an offline game. That's weird. But anyway, I was thinking how cool would that be if ugh, if I could end up getting like uh you know, if anyone's seen like the dude that I use in my intro, which is a character that my brother designed. He's got one for himself and stuff and still we're still trying to work on like it's it's just taking a little while cuz that's just how things go. We've been really busy and stuff, but he's trying to work on a new intro. He's been working on it for a little while. Uh, no, no, there's no deadline for it or anything like that. But either way, just I thought it was really cool if, you know, if we could somehow, if the program is easy enough to use, who knows? Maybe, maybe I'll be able to make our character in Cube World the character that I use for the intros and stuff, which is basically like a pixelated version of myself. <laughs> Except with white hair. Right now I got like pink hair, but. Uh, yeah, you heard me. You heard me. I'm not using a webcam. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> anyways, anyways. I. Whoa. This is at the edge of a new biome. Seriously? <gasps> Hi again, everybody. So, guess what happened? You know, Bandicam screwing up like it always does. I, I swear, like, it's a, it's a phenomenal program as far as recording goes, but when it messes up, in the rare chances that Bandicam does mess up, and it does mess up, it messes up hard. And I mean hard, because now I just lost, like, I already finished up this whole episode. I went into this dungeon and everything, and I explained a couple really cool things, and just, there were so many awesome things that happened, man. So many things that happened. All gone. All that footage is gone, because Bandicam sucks sometimes. When it stops working, it's like, Screw you. <laughs> Seriously. Random crashes, random stop, and random baloney. Like, bull loney. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying baloney. I'm saying bull and oni. So it's bull oni. Not to mention this game is just not cooperating. Check this out. So, Mr. Slime, or any mount. Look at this. R, R, R. Ride, 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 ride. So, my game is probably screwed. I'm hoping that it isn't, but the way things go, especially on computers, I think we're probably going to be screwed. I'll probably never be able to ride a mount again, unfortunately. But, hopefully I'll be able to, and hopefully this random glitch is going to resolve itself. I don't know why it popped up. It seemed to pop up as soon as we got Mr. Slime, honestly. But, yeah, anyway. We're going to go into this dungeon, and I'm going to get my butt kicked for a little bit, because that's what happened here. 
And it seems like it half generated a bunch of neutral pets too, and they're at plus three. Otherwise, it's a bunch of nomads plus three, and this place is deadly, deadly, deadly. I could not for the life of me find the boss, like, at all. So, oh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna fight a couple enemies here, and. Ooh, we got experience points. I'm going to spend. I'll get our mana shield to 10. I'll get our fire explosion to 8. What else could we do? What else could we do? How much do we need? Let's see. Yeah, let's try and get... I want to get our pet's health to 30%. We can get that in one more level. We'll be able to get that. But otherwise, right now, I just want to get... Just want to get a little bit. Just to kind of help us out in fighting, fighting situations and stuff. But otherwise, this place is absolutely deadly. And I just realized that we actually don't have any more potions either. Because... Oh, goodness gracious! I told you this place is deadly! And I'm just gonna eat, and I'm just gonna die. Yeah, we're just dead. That's all there is to it. Oh no, you don't! Oh no, you don't! And it keeps trying to send us over into that biome, which I got some awesome hill biome music. I do gotta say, I really do. But... But I'm not going to I'm not going to use it in today's episode. We'll probably end up going over to this town and maybe we'll take on one or two more dungeons in the desert and then maybe we'll go over to the hill biome just because it's so close by. Even though that is to the west rather than the north, but still, still. And I think I don't think honestly everybody, I'm sorry, I really am. I I it's not my fault. Bandicam sucks. <laughs> But seriously, uh, we're going to, we're not going to be able to handle this dungeon very much because we are out of potions and unfortunately it seems to be getting close to nighttime. I have absolutely no clue where the boss is in this area. It really sucks because I really would like to try and challenge him, even though honestly, I don't think we're going to be able to take them. I mean, look at how long it's going to take us to kill this one dude, not to mention all these random crits that every enemy in the game is always getting now. Like, did you see that? That was one enemy and he took us more than halfway down in our health. Like, that's ridiculous. These enemies also seem to be doing poison damage, which I didn't know poison damage even existed in this game. So I wish we could run into some poison damage, like seriously. <laughs> okay, but you know what, honestly, I'm sorry to keep this off camera. These dungeons are pretty cool. It's just kind of an outside dungeon with some buildings generated and stuff like that. I can't find the boss for the life of me because as you can see right there, like see how there's a wall right there? I'm used to, I've ran into these before, but in the hill biome and normally they're just like this and they're wide open and they have a bunch of zombies and undead and stuff. And those enemies are typically really easy. But yeah, this one that we generated has walls, so I can't see the boss for the life of me. And we can't really take this place on now that we don't have potions or anything. And the only way that we're ever going to get more potions, unfortunately, is only if we go to town. And then we're going to be able to get some... Ah! Super backflip out of a sleep. We're going to have to get some cactus potions rather than the red potions. So we're going to start heading over to the town. Maybe we'll end up getting there. Just we can't ride our mount. I think that that's so ridiculous. I don't know what's going on with my game today. I really, really seriously do hope that that issue resolves itself just by me reopening the game or restarting or something. My computer has not been cooperating today. Nothing has been cooperating today. And I'm a little bit sick, which you can probably tell by me trying to hold back. I'm trying to hold back, but I can't help but get excited. Especially when you see beautiful things like this. Like, look at that. Look at that. Are we... Are we... There. I was pressing G the whole damn time. But yeah, we're gonna head over to the town. We're gonna start heading over to the town. We may end up getting there in today's episode, but I honestly don't know... And we're probably going to have to call it because there's been too many errors. Too many things have I've just been running into today constantly. I wish we could start stepping things up though. Honestly, as far as the difficulty of this game... Whoa! Easy. I'm not rendering or anything. Easy. There we go. Now, we're got, now we got Jerry again. Okay, so it kind of resolved itself. Hopefully it's going to stick it out. But we really got to get to town, especially now that it's turning to nighttime because... Yeah, that's nighttime is not good. 
But yeah, one of the things that I did mention before Bandicam so rudely canceled itself and was like, I'm not gonna record any of that. But yeah, as far as the difficulty of this game goes, honestly, I don't think we can get any pets to help us out. Like straight up, these these pets help us out a little bit, but they're not nearly as invaluable as they used to be. Unfortunately, it really it really does suck, honestly. Because I mean, this this camel, he's level like Jerry, he's level 26 and we're level 30. I guess it makes sense that he doesn't do too much damage, but he doesn't do anything. Like, straight up, you you saw two seconds ago, he dies in, like, two hits! And that's what kind of happens to all of our pets right now, I think. Maybe we'll start trying to get some new pets, hopefully. But at the same time, they're, they're just not very useful. I'm gonna fight these guys so, so we can give a little bit for the world to actually try and hopefully load up. But yeah, uh, why is it actually getting closer? No, you're supposed to load the next area, you don't just... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, as I was trying to say, I'm just going to explain this bit, and if the world hasn't loaded by then, then honestly, I'm just going to stop recording and wait for it to load. But, I think one of the things that would negate a lot of the difficulty that I've been running into is if, is if, like, straight up, if you're playing this game with friends, I would highly recommend that if you do play Cube World, Hopefully, you'll be able to play it with friends. I haven't been able to convince any of my buddies to get this game, unfortunately. You know, I, especially since I moved and stuff. It's like I don't really have any local friends that uh, would want to play this or anything like that. But, you know, I got like uh, Kill Out. I ended up doing... Oddly enough, I don't know why it's my most popular video. I swear it's because it's such an obscure game. But Project London... I did one video with him, it's like, it was like a 40 minute video, it's, it's lower energy, you know, I was still trying to find out my proper character that I was going to be while I was recording and all this stuff. Not to mention that it was, it was like the middle of the night, it's still, I think it was really funny what we were saying to each other and stuff, because it's really sarcastic and everything, but yeah, wow, this is actually beautiful, I gotta say, it's a cave of death, excuse me. But yeah, anyway, I I would try to convince, like, he, he, I think, would really dig the rogue class because of how tight it plays and stuff. But honestly, I haven't been able to convince anybody to be able to play this game with me. I would love to be playing it with Johnny, my brother, Captain Napkin. But unfortunately, we don't really have a second computer that would be able to handle this game properly. Not to mention, then we start running into a lot of difficulties because there's only one good microphone and even if there was a second good microphone it's like what are we gonna do what's he gonna do have it in the other room playing on the co another computer and then you know <laughs> we're shouting to each other into the other room or using like what ventrilo or skype or something but anyway 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 i am perfectly fine playing this game solo you know, I think we still got a lot more to go in this series. Don't worry, don't start, you know, I'm not I'm not trying to complain. I'm not trying to say that oh man, you know, it's getting a little bit too tough or anything. I think honestly, I probably just need I probably just need a little bit of a break from it because I've been grinding it pretty hard. I've been really playing a lot and there's been a lot of things happening with me in real life too. But besides that, I think just the difficulty curb has just been astonishingly steep these past few episodes. I pulled out the map like five years ago. That too, that's another thing we keep running into is just the inconsistency of the game. But, you know, the website has been talking about like Wally -E or Walloy, however you pronounce it. Uh, one of, one of the things that they mentioned was that there's going to be a couple of updates coming out soon, hopefully really soon, where it's going to make the gameplay a lot more optimized and have adjustable windows and stuff, so I think that's going to really help me recording too, because then I'll be able to change a bunch of settings and hopefully it's going to make it so that, you know, we don't start running into this as much. Get out of here, you little null winds! Don't feed the gremlins after midnight! Aren't those guys sweet? Don't you love the gremlins? Especially Gizmo, he's awesome. If we got one of those gnolls as a pet, which I don't think you can, I would totally call it Gizmo. That'd be great. Man, these, this, I gotta say, this road, which by the way, roads lead straight to the towns. Map, please, I called it out like five minutes ago. Okay, there we go. 
But yeah, these roads, as soon as you see a road, it's it's generated and it's always going to lead to a town. I, I wonder where the end of the road would go. That would be interesting. We're going to have to try that out in an episode. I don't think we're going to do it anytime soon. But I think we'll have to try it out one time where we would like be in a town and just take the path all the way to the very end and see, see kind of just see what happens, you know, kind of just experimenting because that's the biggest thing that I want to be doing with this series It's just experimenting, you know, grinding monsters is one thing, but you know, that kind of what it's about is just, I love exploring this game because this game world is just beautiful, man, like you can't really see it right now. But anyway, flip off of Jerry. Hey, what's up? My fly is adorable. Well, your fly's undone too. Have you found leftovers? Yes, actually, I have a couple right here in my hand that we hopefully will get to use in the town if this world would generate a little bit faster. Goodness gracious. Well, I guess at least today there wasn't that much action, but at least I got to talk about quite a few things just because of what screwed up with Bandicam. It's been a while though. It's been a while. I think the last major screw up that I had with Bandicam was there was one time with Gothic 4 where I ended up recording like, I, I ended up having like three or four episodes that didn't record properly because of Bandicam. So I had to redo those. And then I think the last time Bandicam screwed up was during a Fallout episode where Fallout randomly crashed on me. And that's one of the biggest things that I got to say about Bandicam. That's the recording software that I'm using if I didn't already mention that earlier. But be careful using it because it's a fantastic program. It really is, especially for f recording video games and stuff. But unfortunately, it's like they didn't calculate that you're playing on a computer. Because if a game crashes, and games will crash, doesn't matter how optimized they are, doesn't matter how much the game developers will talk crap about how stable it is, a game is going to crash. Like, especially if you're playing it on computer, especially if you're playing it hours on end, you're going to run into errors. Straight up. That's just what happens. Like this right here, where we're waiting for the world to generate. But at least I can talk about stuff. And hopefully you guys and girls have been enjoying that and aren't getting too bored about my rambling. <laughs> but straight up, it's like I've explained it before, I'll explain it again. When Bandicam crashes, or not Bandicam, when a game crashes, Bandicam will basically corrupt all of the footage if the game crashes. So one of the things that you gotta try and rush and do is as soon as a game crashes, you stop the recording right then and there and hopefully you can catch it. Because if you don't stop Bandicam manually, it corrupts all the data. And honestly, I think that's ridiculous. I don't know why it does that. It has a force stop recording option, like in case a game crashes, but for some reason it still corrupts it. Anyway, it looks like we're gonna be a little bit pressed on time for today. Perfect timing. We ended up just getting to town, so I think I'm going to, not today because I don't have enough time. I actually gotta go to bed after rendering a couple of videos right after this. But I'm going to deal with a lot of town stuff off camera, and then in the next episode, we'll be here in town. I think we'll do a couple more things, and then maybe, where do we go after that? Maybe we'll go over here. But who knows? Maybe I'll get a little rambunctious, and maybe we'll go over to the hill biome. We'll see. We'll see what happens then. But thanks so much for watching. I really do hope that you all have enjoyed this episode and have been enjoying this series as much as I've been enjoying playing it. Even though I kind of complain a little bit sometimes and get a little bit frustrated and stuff. That's just me and, you know, that depends on my day and stuff like that too. But yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this episode even though I was kind of just rambling on about stuff rather than just playing the game. But it is a damn shame that things did not record properly but whatever at least i got to discuss a few things that i wanted to talk about and if you enjoyed this video all the way to the very end be sure to leave a like i really do appreciate it it means a lot to me and it really helps me out and if you want to see more in this series everybody be sure to subscribe sayonara and stay epic half backflip half backflip half backflip your face